In this tutorial, I'm going to show you the fastest, easiest, and most foolproof way to share your 3D SketchUp designs with consultants using 2D CAD. Let's get to it. Okay, so this is our ADU accessory dwelling unit project that's right up the street from our office. I'm going to get cleaned up just a little bit here. I'm going to hide our bulk plane and just take a look at some of the layers here. We've got a background layer. Uh, we can hide our earth, uh, this section of earth, and then our barriers and our uh, kind of building outline. All right, so you don't have to do that, but I just want to kind of strip this thing down to a point where it's very clear what we're working on. It's just this ADU project, and the, we want the background drawings of the ADU project. Uh, one other layer I want to turn off is the always off layer. You can see that we have this uh, option for a staircase on the outside, and also some of my uh, square footage calculations are running in here as well. So. For instance, this is on our always off layer. So I'm just going to turn that off. Okay, so let's load up a Condoc drawing set. So I'll click the folder icon up here on our Condoc toolbar. So click that folder. And then we're going to load up a Condoc drawing set. And that's going to be in our drawing sets folder. I'll navigate over there and I have my Condoc Labs backgrounds. I'm going to load up that drawing set. Now, a drawing set, the simplest way to explain it is it reprograms Condoc to do a different trick. And this specific drawing set enables Condoc to create background drawing scenes that we can easily export to 2D CAD. Okay, so we're going to load, uh, run the plan generator. So here's our plan generator. I'm going to set that uh, right here. Uh, so here's our plan generator. And in order to set up our plans, we, we need to have some specific levels. So this project has two levels, and I need to know the finished floor heights. And I can tell you that the finished floor heights are based on the origin point. And so if I use my tape measure tool, and I click on the origin, and tap the up arrow key, I'm now measuring straight up on the blue axis, and I can kind of zoom in over here, and I can snap to, like for instance right here, that's one foot two, and then I can do it again up here, and that's 11 foot 2. So I can see that my levels are at 1 foot 2 and 11 foot 2. So I'm going to set that up in our finished floor heights of 11 2 and 1 foot 2. Now, the plan drawings that I want to actually create is just going to be our full background plan. And we're not going to mess with our, our other full background plans, but um, in, in, in the next tutorial, we're going to take a look at the more advanced standard issue background plan. Uh, those have a lot of benefits for a lot of different reasons, but like I say, the most, the easiest, most foolproof way of getting background plans to your consultants is a full background plan. Now, over here on my scenes, you can see at the bottom here, watch what happens when I click Setup Project. There we go, full background plan one and two. I'm gonna close the plan generator and double click on full background plan one. And there it is. So this background plan is nothing more than all of these you know, specific Condoc layers that are turned on. So we have those element layers like floors and stairs and walls and doors and windows. And so when they're all turned on and, and cut with that section plane, it does create one complete uh, background drawing. And so this is a very easy drawing for me to export and kick out and email to my consultants. And then here's the second floor. And you can see that the camera view is consistent. So when I snapshot these in CAD, they're going to easily stack. So I'm going to go to File, Export, 2D Graphic. Now, when you're exporting these 2D graphics, you want to make sure that your file saves as type DWG. That's important. Then I'm going to go to my desktop in my temp folder, and I'm just going to rename this one. We'll kind of back this file name up and call it 01. So this is our full background plan level one. And before we export, let's take a look at our options. AutoCAD version, I think 2000 is about the most reliable. That's what I always go with. Most, most everyone's on a version 2000 or later. The full scale drawing for sure. Profile lines, none, and section lines, none. I will say that you might experiment with your polylines with width. That can be kind of a cool effect because, you know, if you're just using one line weight, this at least gives your walls 
Uh, like if you're using one line weight in CAD, you can get like a thicker line for your, your wall cuts, but uh, I'm just gonna go with none. That's usually my, my default there. I'll say okay, desktop temp, got my file name, got my file type, export. Now, I'm gonna go to level two and go do the same thing, file, export, 2D graphic, and this one we're gonna name O2, like that. All right, so O2, and then our options down here, I don't actually have to go and click in here and, and check them again, because whatever I used on the last export is my new default there. So we'll just export that out, and then I'm gonna hop over into draft site and click uh, file, open, and we're gonna open from our desktop temp and we're gonna go with one and two. So these are the two drawings that we just exported. All right, so here's level one, and let's just zoom in in CAD. You know, you can do zoom, spacebar, E for zoom extents. Uh, you can select the different entities, and you can see that, you know, they're on specific layers like section cut edge. That's a SketchUp layer that gets kicked out. Um, you know, you might consider selecting everything and putting it on that uh, layer zero, but it's not critical. I would just send them off to the consultants and let them, uh, you know, work with with whatever layers. Because you don't have to do that every single time. Uh, you just want to have a clean export, mail them off, and you're good to go. All right, let's look at level two. Again, you can see all just very simple line work. Uh, we're we're ready to rock. So I think we're in good shape. These are ready to be sent. So that is by far the fastest, easiest, and most foolproof way to share your 3D designs with a consultant who's using 2D CAD. In the next series of tutorials, we're going to take a deeper dive into the Kondok Backgrounds drawing set. I'll see you in there. If you like this video, click the BD button to subscribe to our channel. Every week we post new videos covering SketchUp, Layout, Lumion, and our Kondok Tools extension. If you are a professional architect or interior designer, you're going to love our tutorials.